sealed lead acid or lithium lipo 4 which one's right for you I was contacted by CanBat and asked if I would do a comparison video between their sealed lead acid 12 amp hour battery and their lithium LiPo 4 12 amp hour battery. I did. I ran a couple tests just to give some real world comparison between the two to see which one would outlast the other and uh, do a little bit of comparison between the two regards to price and other reasons one may suit you over the other. So the first thing we'll do is we'll check our starting voltage. Both batteries have been fully charged and just let to rest a little bit, uh, settle out. Uh, one thing I would recommend though is you get a proper battery charger that's going to uh, charge to uh, the desired voltage. I'll show you the spec sheets uh, and uh, you can find a charger that will work appropriately for your lithium. Make sure you've got a battery charger that charges lithium. So our starting voltage on our sealed lead acid is 13.33 volts. And the starting voltage on the LiPo 4 is 13.48. To run the comparison test on these two batteries, I'm going to use uh, this battery capacity DC power multifunction tester. Uh, you can get these off of Amazon or AliExpress. I've actually bought one off of Amazon and one off of AliExpress. Uh, they both showed up uh, and uh, they're identical units so obviously Amazon, who's ever supplying them on Amazon, they're coming from the same supplier of AliExpress. I'm going to do another video on uh, using one of these units and how to test your capacity of your batteries. It's, it's not a bad thing to uh, do every once in a while to give an idea of uh, uh, how your batteries are lasting and holding up. I ran a full capacity test on both batteries which consist of uh, hooking up the uh, battery uh, capacity tester on each and then what I did was I did a 2 amp draw on uh, set set it for a 2 amp draw on each battery and then it runs the test until the batteries are depleted and shuts down. So after running the capacity test on these two batteries the the lead acid uh, came out to 12.82 amp hours and the um, LiPo 4 came out to 11.84 amp hours. I haven't run another test back and forth to see what uh, how they turn out but I mean they're both respectful. Uh, the lead acid even though it's a little bit higher on the amp hour than advertised that doesn't necessarily equate to lasting longer than the LiPo 4. So the next test that I'm going to run is kind of a what I would determine a real world test rather than hook these up in to my fish finder run it for multiple hours to, to see where they both shut off. I'm going to simulate that with the capacity testers. Um, the way I'm doing it is the, my Laurent unit has a low voltage basically set or they work until about 10.8 volts. Once once you dip below 10.8 volts you they, they shut off some of them. Yeah, Sometimes they run a, a little bit lower than that but um, 
as advertised with Lorentz, low voltage is 10.8. So what I've done is these battery uh, capacity testers have a, a low voltage shutoff that you can uh, program in. I've programmed them each for 10.5 volts. So once uh, the batteries deplete uh, below 10.5 volts, the, the test will stop and they'll shut off. That'll give us an idea of how long these will run. I'm setting them up to run at 1.5 amps. Your typical fish finder isn't going to use 1.5 amps. So anything that you're going to use in here, you're probably, most fish finders in that 4 to uh, 4, 5, and 7 range are probably um, 7, maybe right around 1 amp or so. But typically it'll be less than an amp. But in order to speed things up, I've uh, turned the amperage up to 1.5 just to get an idea of how things are going to play out. So it's my thought, even though the sealed lead acid battery in the capacity test came out to just over 12 amp hours and the LiPo 4 was just under 12 amp hours, it's my thought that uh, through this test, the LiPo 4 is still going to prevail. The difference between the sealed lead acid and a LiPo 4 is the discharge curve. So by that what I mean is a sealed lead acid discharge kind of curves down uh, on a gradual slope and so it discharges gradually and where the LiPo 4s generally as a rule of thumb should hold voltage longer uh, for a longer period of time and it dips faster though at the end. But the overall life or power of uh, the LiPo 4 should outlast sealed lead acid. The other difference you, you, you will probably see is the energy which is uh, registered in watt hours. So each one will give you this this test will will let you know what your watt hours uh, capacity was as well so it's my thought because the way the curve goes uh, I'm sorry your watt hours are basically calculated uh, your volts times your amp hours so the way the curve on the lead acid will be the gradual slope so your 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 voltage will drop gra uh, will will drop down uh, therefore you're going to your watt hours should be less than the way your lipo 4 will be but we'll run the test and we'll see what the results are They're both running right at 1.52 amps. Uh, we'll see how long they run for before the uh, low voltage cuts in. Again, it's set at 10.5 volts. The test is complete and the sealed lead acid battery came out to a 10.47 amp hour capacity. The LiPo 4 came out to 11.86 amp hour capacity. The energy, which are the watt hours, for the sealed lead acid was 124.93 watt hours. The LiPo 4, 151.56 watt hours. The runtime before it got down to uh, 10.5 volts and completed the test. The sealed lead acid ran for 6 hours and 54 minutes. The LiFo, LiFo 4 ran for 7 hours and 51 minutes.
So the LiPo 4 lasted uh, a full hour longer than the sealed lead acid. Again, that was running at uh, a 1.5 amp hour draw. So your typical fish finder, again, one amp or just under, uh, you would get, your results would be quite a bit longer. Your, your uh, fish finder would run longer. So at almost eight hours for the uh, Life 04, you'd probably get close to, depending on the amp, amp draw again on your fish finder, probably 12 hours or so out of it. Your sealed lead acid though would be, I would predict probably a couple hours less uh, than the LiPo 4. Now we can talk about benefits, pluses and minuses of one over the other. The sealed lead acid over the LiPo 4. Sealed lead acid, the benefit is price. Uh, $64.99 for, for 12 volt, 12 amp hour sealed lead acid compared to I believe $169.99 for the 12 volt, 12 amp hour LiPo 4. Beyond that, the uh, sealed lead acid doesn't tick a lot of up boxes compared to the uh, LiPo 4. Uh, the LiPo 4 lithium batteries um, provides 100% of the usable energy, uh, which means you can discharge the battery entire the battery entire. Uh, shelf life is better on the LiPo 4, so there's about, uh, they, they advertise about 3% self-discharge per month. So if you can, they can sit around a little bit longer without having to be recharged. Difference of weight. This is seven, seven, just over 7 pounds for the lead acids. LiPo 4 is like 3.2 pounds. So they say it's about 60% of the weight of a lead acid. The LiPo 4 has a higher uh, discharge rate. Uh, it has the ability to deeply discharge the battery at a high rate of discharge while maintaining a high energy capacity. So, so like I said, the uh, discharge curve on this drops pretty significantly where the uh, LiPo 4 holds its uh, voltage longer more voltage at a longer time and then all the then all of a sudden it dips near the end lipo 4 has the battery management system also known as bms um, it monitors and adapts the uh, the battery conditions to maintain uh, the be uh, best performance for your safety the lipo 4 charge faster than the lead acid so i mean time is constraint i know a lot of times uh, with me at tournaments and that, I've got to turn around and get all my batteries all recharged for the next day so so we can get this charged up quicker. And the, the life cycle, the charge discharge rate is much higher on uh, LiPo 4. So they advertise you can uh, go through tw uh, about 2,500 cycles of um, discharge and recharge at a, at a hundred percent and uh, Canbat says they warranty their batteries for 10 years so the lipo 4 batteries tick off a heck of a lot more boxes than sealed lead acid that being said if you're on a budget I mean these are an option for you but in the long run uh, the lipo 4s become cheaper last longer give you more power and regard, more usable power, let's say, and then the lead acid. For me, I will always promote the lithium batteries over lead acid. Um, at uh, this size, the 12 amp hour weight difference isn't going to kill you out on a kayak, but when you start to get up into bigger powers, depending, bigger batteries, depending on what, uh, what your needs are, you got to rem remember this is going to be 60% of the weight of uh, a lead acid. So depending on how much power you need, uh, a lead acid can get quite heavy. Thanks for following along. Uh, I hope uh, this little video gives you a little insight and uh, help in making you decide which type of battery is best for you. Again, I know what 
works best for me and where I like to invest my money. If you're interested in any of Cambat's products, uh, there's a link in the description below and they've provided a discount code uh, for a 5% discount off of uh, any purchases. Just type uh, Percy, that's capital P-E-R-C-Y, in the uh, discount and you'll get a 5% discount. Thanks for watching.